Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do something fun. I want to do something a little bit different. I have these uh, two the metal cutout uh, heart shapes that I get from the Dollar Tree. I actually didn't get them in the seasonal aisle. I mean, it's Valentine's season right now, but they were actually in the uh, craft section and uh, so they might be year round but they're they're the metal hearts similar to the the skull metal skull I did for Halloween but I've got a couple of them and I thought you know what I don't want to do a bloom or a swipe on it I want to do something fun <laughs> something different so um and I've been wanting to try I've seen others do like flip cup flip cups and uh you know straight pour with uh the you know ingredients that you that I use, you know, I, I cater more towards the Bloom's Technique or Bloom Swipe, Transfer Swipes, all that good stuff, you know, with the pouring mediums I use, and then the Cell Activator, and I've seen people doing flip cups with them. So I wanna try uh, doing a straight pour and a flip cup since I have two, and then incorporating the Cell Activator within the cups that I create and and then go from there, so. Let's go have some fun with that. All right, I am gonna go over all the colors and the cell activators. However, I'm gonna the cell activators are kind of mixed in because I'm using them in a different capacity today from what we're doing. We're gonna do two pieces and I've got two counters worth of colors that I'm gonna go through. I don't have all the tubes and stuff that I normally show you. Uh, the, it'll be snapshotted at the end of this video and also in the description box below. I just wanna run through all the colors, otherwise we're gonna be here forever. So this is actually a cell activator I have mixed up. This is uh, Windsor Newton, uh, they're deep turquoise, and this is with Australian Floetrol at four to one. Whoa. This is Golden's Interference Red. This is mixed with my Valspar Varathane pouring medium. This is this little piggy's Mosh. It's a neon color. This is Dutch Boy Jo Sonia. Uh, this is the Amsterdam Blue Violet. This is Valspar Varathane. This is, I got a little bit left of the Athena Piggy. This is Dutch Boy Jo Sonia. This, I've got a lot left of this. And this is the Paraj Posse Allen's Red Shimmer mixed with a little bit of the Golden Fluid Napethal Red Medium, False Bar Varathane. And then this is an old cell activator I had mixed up. This is little bits left of the PBO Iridescent Blue Black with Australian Flow Trout 4 to 1. And then I've got another cell activator here. This is my normal gold I've been using lately. The <laughs> This is all a mouthful. <laughs> this is the Atelier Pale Gold mixed with the PBO Precious Gold at four to one with the Australian Floetrol. Four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint always. More Floetrol than paint is what you want. This is the Little Piggies Hustle, Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. This is leftover this is muscadine wine praj posse paint and a little bit of joe sonia burgundy false fire varathane joe sonia aqua false fire varathane this is this little piggy aphrodite dutch boy joe sonia and finally last but not least this is another cell activator. This is uh, Atelier Interactive Mars Black. Again, four to one. Whew. Okay, <laughs> now on to the pieces. All right, so what we have here, since it's close to Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, I wanted to do something fun with these metal cutouts that I get. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I got these a while ago, and they were not in the seasonal section. They were actually in the craft section, so they may have them year-round, but I really liked using the, the metal cutouts. They don't warp or anything, and they're easy to resin. We're going to start off with the... We're going to use this cup, and I'm going to load it up right in front of you here. This is gonna be our straight pour or pour out. However, I don't know how I'm gonna pour it out yet, but this is the cell activator, the uh, Windsor Newton. I figured it would use up paint as well. And this is actually a three ounce cup. I figured I didn't need that much because I don't wanna have to overstretch, but we're just gonna throw in the paint. This is the 
interference red and then this is the mosh I might add that in a couple times because I love the brightness of it this is the Amsterdam blue violet just a little bit of the Athena left I'll just throw it all in there All right, just a little bit of that red mixture. I think I'm gonna put some more mosh on top of that. And then that's probably about two ounces and I think that's plenty. We're gonna put this uh, iridescent blue black, what's left of the cell activator. I just wanna see, you know, if there's a reaction and what happens. It's kind of like a fun Valentine experiment. <laughs> All right, we've got our cup. All right, put a little bit of pillow paint on so it doesn't go flying off when we spin it out. And for those of you that have asked how I secure canvases to a dry spinner, that is how. Just put some paint, you know, pillow paint, any paint you have will will do it. So. I'm not going to put the pillow on first. What I think I'm going to do is we're just going to kind of pour this out. And I'm going to use the pillow kind of to go around it. I don't know if I'm going to use this whole cup, but we're going to see what happens. Got a lot of orange in there. Oh yeah, some green from that. All right. I think that's good. And I'm just gonna put a little pillow, actually probably a lot of pillow around it. All right, let's just spin right here. All right, Jody, spin a little faster. <laughs> I think it might help it a little. There we go. Let's go this way. I thought I was going to have to bring it over to the... Uh, spinner box but nope all right let's bring it back a little all right you know what I'm getting myself dirty here <laughs> I'm not liking what was happening so I am gonna hook it over and I'm going to tilt traditionally. Watch out. <laughs> Sorry if it's out of view. All right, I'm going to bring it over and then I'm going to put it back down and we'll spin out the excess. Did I mention the pillow I put down was the multi pro PP, the PPG multi pro? just in case I didn't, but all that information will be um, at the end of this video and also in the description box down below. Just about there. It doesn't look like it made a bit of difference. There we go, with that uh, cell activator in there. Ooh, I don't want that white there. Come on. But I like, I like what looks like a wing right here. There we go. This is actually kind of turning out pretty cool. And I don't like that white right there at all. We'll just bring it back. I want to bring this back into the center and then I'm going to spin it out really quick just to get the rest of the paint off. See what we keep. 
and what we don't keep. All right. whip this but I don't want paint going everywhere <laughs> oh my gosh the heart's moving that's so funny I'll drop it it is so slippery but on the back all right that actually looks pretty cool I want to see how this dries this was fun now we're going to do the next one. Now we're going to do our flip cup. And I'm going to put some cell activator on the top and the bottom. I'm going to put the gold on the bottom. Just a little. And then I'm going to put the hustle. Burgundy. Aqua. Aphrodite. And I'm going to put a little of this purple that we used in the other one, the blue violet. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the black cell activator on top. I'm only, I'm only going to do about a half of this cup because I used way too much for that heart the last time. So all right i think that should be plenty all right here's our heart here's our cup right there just like so let's poke a hole in that why that was hard to poke a hole in <laughs> There we go. It's been a long time since I've done a flip cup. <laughs> a little rusty. some kind of a cool pattern. We got some cells in there. They stay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some some of the pillow around it. Help with flow. But I don't want I don't want to add too much paint cuz this is such a small it's a smaller heart. And I'd like to have something cool out of this. All right. I think I'm going to I'm going to put my gloves on this time and I'm going to pick it up and Tilt it a little. There we go. I kind of like the middle like that. That is just so cool. There's some bubbles in there. I hope they pop and get some uh, some pretty neat looking cells or not. But I really I'm digging I'm digging the color vibe. Put a little bit more pillow on here. feel like a fish out of water doing doing these flip cups but this is so fun all right let's move this over hook it on to the edge
we'll worry about the white. It may have a cool effect on it. I want to bring it back and then bring it over. Something cool has happened here. All right. Now let's go this way. I don't want to lose that little patch of cells. All right. I'm going to bring the, bring the paint back into the center and then I'm going to spin it a little just to kind of go over the edges just a little. Oh, that's looking so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, this one turned out better. I'm thinking... Uh, still got a little bit of the white on there, but let's see if we can move it down this way. So some of the paint goes over there. I feel like we're almost there. I just want to get this little bit of white off. And some more bubbles are popping. Come on, almost there. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna get out of it. Let's see what we got here. just gonna whoops I'm out of view sorry about that I just want to get this little patch of white off and then I'm gonna bring it back there we go okay it's a little slippery from there's paint on the back of this heart it's a little slippery but I want to get it back to where in the middle there there we go I like this uh, what's happening in the middle don't like what's happening up here though. With this white. Let's see. There we go. Taking some runoff, fixing up the edge that I don't like. All right, that, that is super cool. This actually worked out well. I, I We didn't get a lot of cells, but I'm loving the, the play of the colors. So I'm going to put this over by the other one, then I will bring you over for the flyover of both of them. All right, here's both of them first. And I'm, I can tell you already which one's my favorite. But this was the uh, kind of the straight pour sort of <laughs> that I did. I actually love, love, love this part right here. There's still a lot of bubbles in there. I'm probably going to pop some of them, but it's got really nice shimmers. And I love the play of the colors. And this looks like... I don't know, a winged heart right in there or like a phoenix in there. That I, I'm so cool. <laughs> the design, eh, you know, for the most part, I can take it or leave it, but I'm totally going with this. I want to see, but I'm really digging the color play. So I really want to see how, uh, how it dries because you never know. So that was the first heart we did. And then this was the flip cup. This is my favorite. Like, I'm so glad I put those little 
designs in there with the uh, dripping the paint and kind of lipping it a little bit. But this right here is kind of my face, like opening up. It's almost like a little vortex or something. This looks almost like an abstract hummingbird. And I, I'm glad I got to keep that little cell ridge right there. But a lot of these little tiny cells were actually bubbles that popped, which was super cool. Um, and I, I cannot wait to see what this one looks looks like dried. So, but overall, this was a lot of fun. Don't, I'm not going to scrape either one of them. I want to see how they dry. So I will be back once they're dried to show you the dried results. Yep, thing low under a black light. <laughs> this looks super cool under the black light. It almost looks like a wing. I mean, it, it looks like a wing in the natural light, in the normal light, and under the black light. And this just looks like, I don't know, some nightscape. It looks just so cool. All right, I'll be back once they're dried. And I'm back to show you the dried results. I'm just going to do it here from my bench since they're uh, since they're so small. They, they dried really nicely, but I got all these weird looking bubbles in there. And I don't know if it's just because it's was on. I haven't done any metal pieces since it got a lot cooler in my shop. So it was, didn't, there didn't look like there were a lot of bubbles on there, but one never knows, but I'm going to resin them anyways. So anyway, here is the flip cup one that we did. And I mean, I just love the gold in there. See this, <laughs> this is some, it's actually not something. It's actually a bubble that didn't pop. And there was a few others around here, but we're going with it because I just love the whole vibe of this. I, I did get some cells in here and here, and I love this. This, I swear it's a hummingbird. It's a hummingbird heart, and I kind of like what I, what did what I did here too. So this 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 is my favorite out of the two. Still, it it dried pretty nice, and I think it's gonna look pretty neat uh, resin. And you saw that they glow under the black light. <laughs> and then here was the pseudo sort of straight cup I did. I was turning it a little bit because I wasn't liking what was happening, but that's okay. But I did get a couple of more of those little bubble type things in there. And this, this purple dried almost black. I forgot. It kind of, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it, I'm, it may, I may change my mind on this again once I resin it, but I really like this, uh, this blue, the blue black cell activator in there. And overall, I mean, I think it's pretty cool and funky. It's definitely a wild heart. <laughs> so overall, I, I, I'm pretty pleased with both of these. And I definitely want to give the flip cup and maybe the straight pour uh, a go again on something a bit bigger because I, I was limited with the space on these little heart, these little hearts. So, but they were fun to do. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to uh, hear your thoughts on it. And if you've actually tried a flip cup with the cell activator or straight pour with the cell activator and, and uh, you know, how your outcome was. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.